Hi everyone, I'm excited to unbox this mini bag with you today. This is not a sponsored post, I paid for it. This is 100% my own purchase, but I've had my eye on it for a while. I got it as I've been searching for an Hermes inspired bag, not a fake, those are illegal, but something that was like in the style of and the best Hermes bag dupe. A mini bag was one of the three companies I came across that I'd narrowed it down to for the best Hermes Kelly bag dupe. They also kind of had one that looks like a Birkin, but I tend to personally prefer the Kelly bag. I just prefer that straight across flap rather than kind of the triple kind of indented flap. I don't really know how else to describe that, but this is an authentic Hermes Kelly bag. This is an authentic Hermes Birkin bag, just so you can see the difference. So obviously it's hard to be an original Hermes bag. It's the French luxury brand. It's known for being elegant, sophisticated, and really refined. But it's also very hard on the credit card and even harder to get hold of if you get on their wait list and you can get your hands on it. Great, but for most of us, they are very, very hard to come by. So one of my goals with Glamour and Gains, my fashion blog from the very beginning was to make fashion accessible to everyone. So every time I was showing a runway trend and how to make it work in real life or doing the best knee high boots, I always wanted to have a mix of designer and luxe for less affordable options. So that's another reason I wanted to share Hermes bag dupes, just because I really want fashion to be accessible to everyone and not just have a massive designer price tag on them. So I scouted out the very best Hermes bag dupes, including vegan leather and crystal options because Hermes doesn't make vegan Kelly bags or vegan Birkin bags. They do have one style of vegan bag they just launched but I'll get to that a bit later. And just to clarify, because so there's no kind of miscommunication here. These are not fakes. Fakes are illegal. There is a big difference between inspire by and dupes than fakes and replicas. So fakes and replicas often use fake logos. You do try and use the name. Dupes or similar styles are inspired by don't have the name or logo. They're just kind of inspired by the structure. So for a Hermes Kelly bag dupe, you're going to be looking for the same kind of like gold padlock, that lock feature, the single flap, the top handle, and that really nice structured trapeze shape. I promise you I will get to unboxing this bag, but I do want to just kind of talk a bit more about how I came across it first. So I have been looking for a red structured top handle bag because red is such a trending color this year and I don't actually have a plain red leather bag. I've got a crystal one, but not a leather one. And I did a ton of research looking for the best Hermes bag dupes because I did a whole article on it and there are quite a few. Actually, I listed 12 different versions of really good Birkin and Kelly dupes. But this is the one I chose. And it's the mini bag Celine vegan bag. Now it comes in two sizes, a really cute 20 centimeter and a larger 25 centimeter, which is what I got because I wanted a bag that would kind of be large enough to use both for the day and small enough for the evening. And I thought this was kind of a more versatile size, as cute as the 20 centimeter is. Both sizes are big enough for your iPhone though, so don't worry about that. And it also comes in more colors. So if you're not looking for red, these are the other colors it comes in. The aqua is super pretty. It'd be gorgeous for summer. So like I said, this is the vegan leather. So it's not going to feel the same as a leather bag, but Hermes, the only style they have in vegan bags is the Victoria bag. So if vegan leather is important to you, this might be an option for you if you don't want to do the Hermes because of it being real leather. Obviously there's pros and cons to both. Both have kind of different ethical standpoint so it's really what's most important to you obviously the vegan leather is going to be cruelty free it doesn't contribute to over farming deforestation and it produces lower emissions in its production okay so i did unbox this one so this is kind of my second unboxing just so you could see how it came it did come in the cardboard box it came really well packaged it comes obviously in the mini bags a dust bag it was originally Handbag Resorts. It's changed its name since to Millie Bags. In case you've seen other reviews on Handbag Resorts and can't find those bags anymore, it's because it's now rebranded. So this is the red. I have to say, sometimes when you see colors online, the colors aren't that accurate. This is exactly as it was pictured. And I just think this shade of red is absolutely stunning. It's not like a wall stop sign red. It's not that fire engine red, but it's also not a wine or a Merlot burgundy kind of color. It's just a really beautiful, I think really elegant shade of red. It, has, it does smell like brand new leather to me. I have to say it does smell like that new car smell rather than smelling kind of like 
I don't know why I expected vegan leather to smell like. I don't have any vegan leather bags. This is my first one, but it does smell like leather. I also really love kind of the Saffiano style leather, that pebble greened look, because it does make it slightly more scratch resistant than say your Lady Dior lambskin, which scratches so easily. This, this is why I love my Prada Saffiano bag, the leather I've had on that for over 10 years. It literally is really, really durable because I hate scratch bags. So that was another selling feature for this for me. If you prefer real leather bags, they have real leather bags on there as well. So I'm really impressed with how this was packaged. It has the plastic protection on there. It also has it on the four metal feet on the bottom. I have to say feet on the bottom of bags for me is a big selling point. It just really helps protect the bottom of the bag from any scratches. And they've just got little rubber covers on I'm just getting rid of. And then there is the plastic covering on the straps. So let's grab that off. This is really well on here. And I know, so mini bags, I don't actually know where they're located. On their website, their phone number and their address is the UK, but the shipping tracking came from China. So I feel like you're getting these straight from their manufacturers, their factory, whoever produces their bags from them. And there is also inside one of these a bag stuff that helps keep it shape. Do not throw this away. Because honestly, bag stuffers, why pay extra for them when you can just use a free one? If you get them in your Amazon deliveries, wherever you get them, these are really, really handy just to pop inside the bag to help them keep their shape. I'm going to cut this plastic off because it refused to come off. And one of my shopping tips for mini bags is to check their banner at the top of the website because they often have a lot of codes on there. So I got 25% off of this bag. I'll drop the code I used in the description below, but it might have already expired. I'll try and update that if they pop a new one on there. But definitely make sure you're using the codes because who doesn't like saving 25%? So shipping wise, this got to me within eight business days. I ordered it on December 21st, got it on December 28th over the busy Christmas period. So I thought that was pretty fast turnaround as well I don't think that's banned for international shipping okay any more yep there is more we've got a little plastic protection over that in the middle I really like how well this is packaged I have to say it's kept it absolutely pristine in transit okay so on the inside obviously we had this protection is everything else that comes with the bag so you have sorry my hair's getting stuck in my lip gloss the shoulder strap is a really nice feature because as much as I do tend to carry it by the top handle, I tend to put it over my elbow. Sometimes it's nice to have that shoulder strap where it's a crossbody, where it's a shoulder bag, gives you more options for how you're styling it. And also when I'm in, when I'm in a city, I do tend to put it as a crossbody just for extra security. And then again, there is more plastic covering the inside. So the authentic Hermes Kelly bags now actually come with shoulder straps since 2000. They have, like this one, the very discreet gold hooks on the side. You can put the, bag, the shoulder strap it comes with on there. You could buy a different bag strap and mix and match them. But they're obviously designed to go with the straps they come with. Yeah, this is really well packaged. I'm having to use some scissors here to get everything off. So that is going to be your adjustable shoulder strap. I really like the fact that it has the adjustable strap on there. I think that's a really nice feature and that's just going to pop on right there. The handle is pretty stiff on here right now. The whole bag, I really like. If you read my blog, if you know me, you'll know I love really structured bags. I'm not a big fan of slouchy clothes, slouchy bags. I like structure and this is beautifully structured. I'm hoping, because it feels quite stiff, that it will hold its shape pretty well and be pretty durable. It's not the easiest to get on this loop in the beginning, but we got it on. And then it also comes with, I think this is just a leather swatch, <laughs> a little smiley face. Let me just move because I'm getting blinded by the sun. Okay, a le less blinded there. Like I was saying, it comes with the clochette, which I feel like a lot of bags now come with. I know my Prada has it. And that's just holding, it kind of hides the keys inside there. And then it has the cute little padlock on there, which kind of actually does look like the H, to be fair. I don't know if I prefer it without that, because again, I'm going for an inspired style, not trying to do a fake or a complete knockoff. But in saying that, that's kind of what does make it one of the better Hermes bag dupes. I'm going to be very careful getting this off with scissors because I don't want to scratch the metal. There we go. That looks better. Gorgeous, gold, shiny hardware. Okay, the sun is moving fast, so I move position again. So 
on this clochet where your key to your padlock is this the key is actually quite hard to get out of there so i resorted to using tweezers to pulling it out by the leather not the hardware so i didn't scratch it and so i didn't lose a nail so there is your key that goes inside you're going to need it to be able to open the padlock because the padlock does come locked and you can hear when it pops open, it just pops open like that. And you can put this wherever you like. The trend seems, seems to be not to even bother doing up the bags now with the padlock, just kind of like leaving that open and then putting, you can put the padlock and the key wherever you want to. I am probably going to attach it, I think, on the handle over here. And it attaches very, very easily. There is a little slot here that you can just pop everything through. And then obviously you can pull that as tight as you want and pull that down to hide that. And that can just pop on there and stay there. Then obviously if you wanted to do that up, I'll show you what it looks like locked. Now I probably wouldn't even bother actually locking it. I would pop that on just kind of for decoration to make it much easier to open. Because how fiddly is that all the time, having to lock, unlock it? For me, that's more of just a style feature than a security feature I would actually use. But let me show you the inside because the inside of this bag is kind of cool as well. Honestly, seeing how long that takes with my nails, I think the way I would actually keep it is with that there and these underneath like that which I still think is a really cute way of doing it but again lots of different ways to use the lock don't use the lock just play around with it see what works for you aesthetically and also just for ease of use so the inside of the bag is the same leather as the outside it's not suede like some are what I really like are there are two interior pockets so you have one that you could just pop your phone in really easily there no zipper and then you have a zipper compartment which is really nice if you wanted to keep maybe your card holder in there your id whatever it is you want to put in there some cash to keep that neat and tidy so just really really nice features of the bag it's not just an open compartment i actually tend to prefer as much as i love the look and feel of suede interiors they do stain really easily especially if you've got i tend to keep protein bars in there i'll have a bite and then put it back in and then i end up with crumbs everywhere and leather is just so much easier to wipe out than suede bags the same with any makeup spills or anything like that i'm still finding plastic covering on this there we go okay so it is shiny gold hardware everywhere that was just operator error which tends to happen more often than not so are millie bags worth it are they the best hermes kelly bag dupe i haven't tried any other bags in person it was one of the top three i came across when i was looking for the best hermes bag dupes and i do think millie bags are worth it i think it's really good value for money i know some people might say it's too much to pay for a vegan leather bag but it's pretty much the same price as their leather bags on there. So obviously you can get the leather bags if that's what you prefer. I am super tempted now to get their mini bags. They have one in the most gorgeous blue. So I'm seeing them, feeling them, knowing the cost and the value. I think they're great value for money. They're obviously legit because it arrived. It wasn't one of those I paid for and it never came. I love the features on there. I think it's a really, really good size. Is it as cute as the mini? No, absolutely not. But do I think it's more versatile and I'm getting more use out of it than a mini bag? Then yes, definitely. But at this price point, it's really tempting to get more than just one color and size as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this best Hermes bag stoops and mini bag review, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe. Feel free to drop any comments below. I'll answer your questions as best as I can. Or if you have your own experience with shopping for these style bags or mini bags, I'd love to hear from you too. I'm also going to link the discount code and the bags below. Thank you so much for watching.